but it's fantastic news, you know, it was something that I wasn't expecting, you know, and I think, I think it's a great achievement to sort of uh, cap off quite a long career, you know, again, it's not just for me, the medal, you know, all my family have put up with me over the years, the three children, my long-suffering wife, uh, and for the crew at the station, you know, because Coxon's in charge of the boat when it's at sea, but it's without the crew, you know, it's, and it, it's been really great, uh, I say, for the 15 years I've been Coxon, uh, that I've had the support of my family and the crew as well. It's uh, about being on call 24-7, um, about training your crew. So obviously at Hoylake now, we've just got a new Shannon, that's 12 months ago, or just on 12 months. And all the crew had to be trained up by either going on courses in pool or at the station. And they are like spending an awful lot of time and effort and money training crew members up. And then obviously the next 12 months is all consolidating that training. So there's quite a, a strong commitment, not just obviously from the coxswain and the uh, boat officers, but also from all the crew members. They all have to put in a fair amount of time, you know, each week um, to get trained up and to stay competent. David's been coxswain for the last 15 years and it runs in the family. His father served for 55 years. In his 40 years in total, David's seen many changes in operational practices, but also in the equipment the crews use. From the first boat I served on, uh, the Rother, you know, it's a small uh, 37 foot wooden boat, uh, partly covered wheelhouse, um, you know, and you look at the, you know, the one after that, the Mersey class life, it was a great big step forward from what we'd had. And then this again is just another massive step ahead uh, in the way of comfort, safety, manoeuvrability, technology. You know, it's all moved on so much in 40 years, you wouldn't believe it. Peter Berry, Bay TV, Liverpool News, Hoylake.